What's up, KP Nation? It's your girl, The Real Crochet, and I'm back with another video. Okay, right, I have to do that twice because y'all, I'm so used to doing vlogs and drops and, you know, just being that bitch everywhere I go that I, my intro, I be forgetting which one is my YouTube, which one is my intro intro. So look, don't judge me, okay? But if you've seen the title of this video, you've seen the thumbnail, then you already know what I'm about to do. What's up, KP Nation? It's your girl, The Real Crusade, and I'm back with another video! Honestly, you guys, I have the questions. I screenshot them and have them right here. Honestly, you guys, I'm going to be honest. Before we get into this video, before I answer these questions, me personally doing this video does, in a way, rub me the wrong way a little bit because, one, it could contribute to drama. Two, um, it's really not my, like, this is really not my business. Three, I'm just a real ass friend, okay? Me personally, so let's start with, I'm gonna give a disclaimer. Disclaimer is Leah never brought me in to defend her. Leah never brought me into their drama. I happen to get i happen to become a part of the drama just solely by being her support system and her friend i became part of the drama based on the fact that people don't want her to be doing stuff and being happy and i'm a real friend with me being a real friend when i say i'm a real friend as in i'm a lover okay hold on i got on a shirt you guys okay i'm a lover one thing for sure me and Ali, me and leah both aquariuses period um we have a lot in common. That was one of the reasons why we were introduced to each other months ago, period. Um, so if you ask me, it's it's a lot, okay? It's a lot. It's a lot of different reasons why I'm involved. I'm going to discuss my main reason for defending her at the end of this video. So watch this video to the end to understand my position and why I want to defend my friend, okay? Um... But I became involved just simply being her friend, being around her. Uh, me and her got really close. As y'all know, she's not from Texas. So when me and her got close, I became her go-to friend. And in a way, things just happened when I happened to be in the picture. And me being the real bitch that I am, me being a real, loyal, genuine friend that I am, if I say I care about you, I say I fuck with you, we locked in, I'm going to be there for you, period. So that is how I got involved. The reason I have gotten to the point where now I'm voicing how I feel is because I'm one of those people. I cannot watch you bump your head 30 times and not help you. That's me. I don't care. So at this point, y'all can hate me. Y'all can love me. Y'all can feel a way about me. The fans of the other party can be mad. Y'all can bash me. But at the end of the day, nothing's going to take away the fact that I'm a genuine, real, and loyal friend. And I will go to war with you if you want to go to war. Period. So... With all of that being said, let's get into these questions. And like I said before, I'm answering these questions because y'all keep asking me these questions and y'all obviously really want to know. I hate either party. I don't have a beef with either party. I just have to speak on how I feel. If I feel something's wrong, it's wrong. If I feel something's right, it's right. That's me. I'm giving my sole opinion. But I'm going to answer these questions with my my answers. I'm not answering what Leah would say. I'm not answering what Jordan would say. I'm answering what Chris Shea has to say. So make that known. Notate that. Screenshot it. And let's... Okay. First question. Are you genuinely here for Leah? I feel that I've answered that question several times already. Okay. Um, yes, I am genuinely here for Leah. And when it started, I genuinely was here for the both of them. Honestly, I genuinely was. I have DMs of me messaging Jordan, telling her, I'm not mad at you. I just don't like what you did. I literally have messages of me saying this. Okay? Like, literally. So, I don't want people to feel like this is one side. It's not. I'm a genuine person. That's just me. Um, Are they really separated? I'm going to be honest. I don't understand why y'all asked that. Regardless of what y'all feel, yes, they are separated. They are separated. They are not living in two different places pretending. They are separated. 
one thing for sure that y'all should know that they are separated because if they was not separated, I would not be with Leah every day. She would be with her 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 girlfriend. They're separated, okay? Um, ooh, child. It's like, this is stressful for me because it's like I'm basically talking about other people's business. But it's like, I gotta... I got to clear the air. Me, because it's like now I'm being brought in as the friend, right? And no, nobody brought me in, but I'm in as the friend. So I get bashed by the other party side too. If my friend look bad, I look bad because I'm defending my friend. So I got to speak up on my end too. So that's what we're doing. Um, Did Jordan really cheat? Everybody knows, yes, she did cheat. She did cheat. Now, that's what I'm saying. This is going to definitely have to be a part two to this video. So, y'all going to have to comment below, which I want to know more on, part two. Any questions, you can DM to me on my Instagram. I'll put my Instagram on the screen. Um, I So, this is what I'm saying. From my perspective, I talked to both parties. Yes, she did cheat. She also told me why. That's not a question on here. So, we will cover anything else that y'all want to know. We can cover in another video. So, just comment below. Just comment below. Comment below. Comment below. Okay? Um, Did Leah not do her part to keep Jordan there? I don't... Okay. So, when I say that, those questions, that's a question I really can't answer because I was not in their relationship. I also was not their friend the whole six years. So... I don't know what her part consists of. And I'm being honest. I don't know what boundaries that were set in their relationship. I don't know what Jordan expected. I don't know what Leah expected. I don't know what her part consisted of. I don't know what part that she didn't do, what part she did do. All I can speak on is what was told to me and what I've witnessed with these two. That's all I can speak on. So, I, like I said... Jordan explained her position on things to me. I can go and discuss that and further explain that. But the reason I don't want to is because Jordan has not came out on her own and said, this is why I cheated. So until she said, it, I haven't wanted to say it because at the end of the day, I don't know solely if that's why people lie. Okay. People manipulate. People do a lot of things. I don't know everything i just know what i see and what i'm going what i'm witnessing with my own eyes so like i said comment below we can discuss that maybe in a second video because right now i'm i don't know how do you feel about leah not defending you against jordan um well one i'm gonna be honest i don't really give a fuck and it's not nothing towards my friend i don't care if she defends me why she got to defend me when I'm defending her? And I, and again, she didn't ask me to defend her. But why does she have to defend me against somebody who's already been traumatic to her? At this point, I'm coming in as defense. If I'm the lawyer in this situation, I'm coming in as the defense attorney. You ain't got to do nothing at this point. I'm a loyal friend. I am one of those friends where if you call me and say... This nigga put his hands on me. I'm on the way. And I'm not coming to pull up like no girl. I'm coming to pull up ready to square up. I am I get active. I'm one of them. I'm a real friend. I am a genuine. Lord, I can't talk. I am a genuine, loving friend. So I'm going to defend my friend regardless. Regardless. She ain't got to tell me yes, no, maybe so. There's been times that I spoke out of turn and Leah was mad. Why would you say that? Because somebody needs to. That's the difference. There's definitely been times where she looked at me like, shut up. And I'm like, are you going to speak up? Didn't know I'm not going to shut up. And there's, there's a difference. But the difference is the reason our friendship is still okay, even with that, is when you know that someone is genuinely your friend. You know that their intentions are not bad. I could motherfucking say whatever I want to say about whoever I want to say it about. But at the end of the day, if you know my intentions are pure with you, you know that I'm here to defend you. I'm not trying to make your situation worse. Your situation going to get worse regardless because we're dealing with somebody who don't care about nobody's feelings. It's going to get worse regardless. So you might as well let somebody come in and step up and be the defense. And I will gladly do it. 
Gladly. Because I'm a good friend. But let's move on. Were you, were me and Jordan ever cool? Yes. I honestly don't hate her. I don't have no beef with her now. I'm not saying that I would never talk to her. When she hits me up in Instagram, I respond. I don't hate her. I just hate what she did. That's that. Like, I don't have no beef with her. I don't know if she got a beef with me because I'm trying to help her ex get her, you know, get her mental together and be a good friend and push her. Girl, let's go outside. Let's go have a good time. That don't mean you got to be out in the streets fucking or none of that. That just means go outside and take your mind off of shit that ain't serving you no more. It don't align with her no more. So why would we sit around and worry about that? So, no, I don't have no beef with nobody. But if anybody is beefing with me based on the fact that I want somebody to not be depressed and sad, then let's beef. Because I'll beef with anybody about mental. I'm, I'm really big on mental health, mental awareness, self-awareness. I will beef with anybody that got an issue with me being a good friend of my friend because I don't want her to be depressed. At the end of the day, nobody is sitting around with her but me when she's going through it. So at the end of the day, can't nobody tell me what to do or how to defend my friend when I'm the one sitting there when she's going through it. I'm the one answering those phone calls. I'm the one fucking saying, friend, I'm here. I'm the one saying, oh, we met for a reason. We were supposed to be a blessing to each other. You don't have to worry about being on your own because I got you. I'm the one doing that. So I got the right to defend fight, have beef with anybody, but the fact that I don't should be respected. Period. And that's how I feel about it. Moving on. Um, How do I feel about Leah? Okay, I don't know what that question means because one, y'all have definitely been trying to say that me and Leah mess around. No, we do not mess around. One, I don't even date feminine women. Um, Secondly, me and her are literally friends and only friends. I'm going to be honest. Every time people say stuff like that to me, just let me know that y'all grew up in a situation where y'all ain't never knew what a real friend was because real friends are real friends. And there's nothing about me and Leah's friendship that doesn't come off real. So, how do I feel about Leah? I love Leah. Leah's a great friend. Um, we are literally... I'm going to be honest. I've never met someone in such a short period of time that I feel like literally is damn near like... You can be a twin flame with a friend. And I literally feel like Leah is like my other half when it comes to like the way I think, a lot of different things. I'm being honest. Me and Leah have not been friends forever. We and her haven't even been friends a year yet. It would honestly make a year probably December. So it's like, no, we got close quickly. And yeah, what she went through did make us get closer but we was already actually building a friendship and getting close before there were reasons why i chose to come and be there for her okay next question what made us close well since we are on the topic um me and leah were already working on a friendship we were already working on friendship we was already working on doing stuff together we had already started getting close what made me and leah want to get close is that we were both Literally Aquariuses, we're both BBWs, we do think alike, but we're in two different places. I'm popular in Houston, Leah has the numbers on social media. So at this point, it's kind of like, bitch, me and you put together will motherfucking dominate. You You can help with this part, I can help with this part, and when we put it together, bitch, we gonna be her. With an S, you know? That was, uh, that's literally what made us close. We just have a lot of the things. So we have a lot in common when it comes to what we want out of this. That's what made us close. Um, what kept us close was the fact that I'm a real friend. Once I say I care about you, once I fuck with you, I genuinely care about you. I will genuinely do anything for my friends. Genuinely. Like, genuinely. So, um, what's my fear in this whole situation? Honestly, wholeheartedly, y'all, I don't really have too many fears in this situation because it's not my situation. But if I had to say anything makes me nervous in this situation would be, I care a lot, y'all. When I say I've literally been around Leah and seen her sad, and I'm an empath, so I've literally had days where I've been around her, seen her sad, and then the moment we separate, I had to go cry. Because it, it's, it hurts me. One thing I'm going to say. 
and I, I, this is for relationships, for anybody. You cannot say you love somebody or have love for somebody if it does not hurt you to hurt them or hurt you to see them hurt. I literally look in my friend's face sometimes, y'all. And I tell her this all the time. I look in her face and I can see it. I can see the pain. And me being such a loyal and genuine person, that shit really hurts me. It really affects me. Because I'll be sitting there like, I want to, I'll be mad. Like, wow, bro. And I'm a, I'm really am an empath. I'm one of those people, bro. If you walk past me in the hallway and you said, I'm, I don't care if I don't know you, I'm gonna be like, you, you okay? You wanna talk? Like I'm really that person, you know, because I'm, I'm big on mental health. I'm so big on it because my mental not even the best, okay? And I gotta say that because people don't realize while I'm arguing and defending my friend, my mental not even the best. I'm just really that bitch. Like I'm really that that, that a good friend, bro. Like I really am. I really am like, but <clears throat> my fear in this whole situation, I have two fears. One of my fears is that the other party won't leave her alone. And it's going to get to the point where basically she's never going to get be find her own happiness because she can't completely cut ties. Then my other fear is her giving up on herself. And like I said, let me be honest with you. I'm such a real bitch. This is not even supposed to be my problem. If she decides she want to give up on herself tomorrow, I'm not supposed to give a care in the world. But because I'm such a genuine person, that shit will hurt the fuck out of me if she gave up. Because one thing about me, I'm going to push you. I push this bitch every day. We push each other, you know? So, no, you're not. Why would you do that? So, those are my fears. Do I feel like any, either of them would happen? No. But those are my fears. Those are the things that I'll be like, all right. You know, but... I have faith and I have hope and I know for a fact that one, as long as you my friend, period, we're we're not backtracking. We're gonna get this shit together. Um next question. Do you think they will ever get back together? Um I'm gonna be honest. When they first separated, I honestly genuinely really wanted them to. I really did. I really did. Um no, you know, the other party may not believe that, but no, I really wanted them to. You can literally, and it, and one thing for sure, Jordan cannot deny, when they first separated, I messaged Jordan on Instagram and was like, why, bro? Why? Like, I literally messaged him and was like, why? Why, bro? Why? And nobody's understanding why this is, it's not personal to me, but it's definitely very, very traumatic for me based on something I went through in my past. We're going to get to it, but... I don't think they would ever get back together. And I'm going to be honest. I don't think they would ever get back together just based on the things that have happened. I feel like if time would have passed and they wasn't beefing and they wasn't trolling and they wasn't trying to hurt each other, it would have been possible for them to rekindle. But now one party has really made the other party look a certain way. One party has made one party feel a certain way. Certain things in my eyes cannot be fixed. Even if they got back together tomorrow, there probably won't be much trust. There won't be much faith. It's going to probably be toxic because you will not. It just, I don't feel it will work. So I don't think they will, but that's not up to me. Um, Why is Jordan beefing with me? Jordan is not beefing with me. Me and Jordan are not beefing. Jordan literally did tell me she was happy that I was Leah's friend because she wants somebody to be there for Leah. But at the same time, I do, I don't feel that Jordan's beefing with me. I'm going to be honest with you. I feel that her beef has nothing to do with me. It may be, it may seem directed at me because I'm, I'm involved, but it actually has nothing to do with me. I genuinely feel in my heart that Jordan's issue is Leah not being stagnant. I, that's how I feel. I don't know. But one thing I will say is if every time somebody have an accomplishment, you find something to be mad about, it, it, that's what it seems. It has nothing to do with me. But the issue where I come in is, I'm going to be honest, I genuinely feel that if it was not for me being a diehard friend and pushing her every day, a lot of the things that she doing, she may not have been doing so soon. I'm not going to ever discredit. 
I definitely feel like she was going to do it eventually. I feel like she probably wouldn't have been do doing it so soon. She probably would have been depressed a little longer if it wasn't for me coming in and saying, no, bitch, we're not doing that. So I generally believe that her beef isn't with me. Her beef may be with the progress that's being made with me in the picture. But I don't think she has a beef with me. I don't have a beef with her. Like, the fuck? Like, that's dumb to me. If you beefing with me, that's really dumb. Um, okay. So the last and final question is why are you defending Leah so much or so hard? So, now we can go into my personal reasoning for being there for my friend. If y'all hear anything in the background, I got a cat that never stops doing retarded stuff. Anyways, okay, so for those that know, those that don't know, I was in a eight-year relationship with a woman, and we 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 both was Aquarius. We had been together since high school, and she basically one day decided she let, was gonna leave me for a coworker. Came home, you know, she was doing a lot of sneaky stuff, you know. Came home one day, or. I don't remember exactly how it happened, but I know one day she just decided to confess to me and my mom how she didn't want to be here. She wasn't happy. She wanted to be with somebody else. Right? And I've never in my life experienced a heartbreak worse than that. And it was only because eight years with somebody is a long time. You definitely, of course, I've pictured my life with you. Of course, I've pictured us having a family. Of course, at this point, hey, well, that's a decade. However, I didn't realize I was wasting so much time with somebody because I we we dated from high school. So it was like I was 17 when I met her. We broke up when I was 20. Broke up 2018. It's 2023. I was like 24, 25, maybe. I'm 29 now. So y'all do the math. So for me. Yeah, I'm not going to hold you. That that hurt. It hurt. And I'm going to be honest. One thing about Aquarius is the way we think, and I'm going to give you all some insight on the way we think. I could get over you, and I genuinely believe that Leah is over Jordan. I think Leah is not over what happened. Because I'm going to be honest with you. I haven't seen the ex that broke up with me and did that to me since 2018. I have not seen her face at all since... We broke up. And I'm over her. Completely over her. But that pain and confusion as to why I deserved what you did to me. And why after all this time I've been with you. Been held, holding you down. Doing for you. Making sure you're good. Loving you. Being your girlfriend. That one day you literally meet a fucking stranger. And decide that that stranger is worth destroying everything we built. You cannot tell me that that's not something that's going to play in your mind a lot. And the reason me and Leah got close was because when Leah, we was already close. But when she told me what happened, y'all, I'm sorry. I was already having an emotional day. <laughs> I was already having an emotional day. So we not even, you know, I, you know, so we're going to ignore it. But when Leah told me that. I broke down crying, okay? And I told Jordan straight up, this shit is triggering to me. What y'all going through is triggering me. Because there are a lot of reasons why I completely understand what she's going through. I still sit around to this day trying to figure out what I did that was so unlovable for you to pack up and, and tell me you want to leave me for a bitch you never know, you don't know anything about. To this day, it still hits me and it plays on you mentally. That is one when I say that was the worst thing that could ever happen to me love wise mentally because it fucked me up. To this day, I still walk around questioning if I'm lovable, if I'm good enough, if I deserve love, you know. So I understood those feelings to have my friend call and say that to me and we happen to be in the quiz we both the same sign i instantly knew how she felt instantly and it was like bro when this she called and said what she said i'm like instantly 
I literally remember all the emotions that I went through flooding my body as we talked about it. And it's only because I could hear that same pain that I had in her voice. And it only really, honestly, and I told her straight up, when we got off the phone, bro, I cried. Because it made me literally think about exactly what I felt when it happened to me. And I wish I had the type of friend I am when I was going through it. Because that, that type of shit will fuck you up mentally. To this day, it doesn't matter if I'm with somebody or not. If you show me a little bit of inconsistency, I feel like you don't love me. If you show me the slightest bit of change or the slightest bit of something, I feel like you don't love me. So if nobody understood what my friend going through, it's me. That's why I'm going so fucking hard for her. Because I wish people went hard for me. I sat by myself a lot after that breakup. Yeah, I had people come check on me, all of that. But the moment people stopped coming around, I had to lay with myself every night. And that shit hit harder. And it honestly got harder. Because every time... People don't realize we're women. Every time I got lonely and missed sleeping next to somebody, I cried. Because now I got to sit around and think about in my head, what did I do to deserve this? What did I do to make the person I love want to go love somebody else? What did I do to make the person I love want to sleep next to somebody else? That's a hard pill to swallow. That is a hard pill to swallow. You supposed to walk around living your life every day knowing that something you did or made or didn't do or something you missed or didn't miss or something you said or didn't say was enough for a person to literally replace me. And I'm not supposed to feel no way about it. I'm supposed to just keep dating and going into relationships as if I'm not still fucked up about why I'm replaceable. So, yeah, I'm going to keep going hard for my friend because nobody understand that feeling. And when I was going through it, nobody understood that feeling. And now I got a friend who literally going through the exact same thing. I don't want her to go through it the way I did. I'm mentally strong. I've been through a lot of traumatic shit in my life. I'm not saying she isn't mentally strong. The difference between me and her is she is a little bit more soft than me. And I'm saying this from experience. I'm not saying as in she could run over her. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying mentally when it comes to how we handle things, how we do things, how we get shit done, we are a little different. I'm going a, I'm to a ignore my feelings and I'm going to push past it and I'm not going to think about it and I'm going to cry when I get home type of person. Sometimes she can't do that. Sometimes she can't do that. I'm understanding to that. That's, that's what the friends are here for, to understand when you can't do something. Pick up the fucking slack. That's what I've been doing because I get it. I get it. When me and my ex broke up, I had to keep working. I had to go cater. I had to keep doing it. The very, very first time I went back to the club to cater again, I had a nosebleed and ended up in the hospital because I was not there mentally. And I wish I had friends. The type of way I'm a friend to come and step in and say, no, I got it. I wish. So I don't see the issue with everybody being upset with the fact that she got a friend who will literally fucking have her back. Like, y'all are miserable for feeling that way. Honestly. And I'm happy I I'm telling my side because I want y'all to genuinely understand that what the fuck? Shit hurt. Shit be painful. I'm not saying that Jordan didn't go do nothing painful. No, I didn't say that. But two, two wrongs don't make a right. Two stabs ain't going to fucking heal one wound. You okay? So at the end of the day, what do we do here? Okay? But anyways, I just want to answer those questions. I just want to talk a little about it. Um, anything y'all want to know, comment down below. Make sure y'all DM me on Instagram. All of that good stuff. Um, make sure y'all like, comment, share, and subscribe. Tell a friend, tell another friend, tell their granddaddy that mental healing is the main thing that we need to work on, especially being black in today's time. That is something that is extremely important. I still do have my mental advice highline, which is therealcrochet.gmail.com. Feel free to email me if you just want to talk, if you just want to vent. Um, I'm really big on that. And sooner or later, I really think I will be starting like a mental health 
hotline or something because I do feel like that's something that needs to be touched on a little bit more. In the meantime, y'all already know what I said. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Tune in for my next video. And I'm out.